Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a mirror image of your hard drive and how to restore from it. For this tutorial, I'm using Paragon Hard Disk Manager 12. The link is in the description box below. This program is free for non-commercial use, but every time you run it, it asks you to pay for that program. Now, I'll be using my external hard drive to store my image file. Now, go to computer locate your local disk right click properties here we need to know the used space on your hard drive in this case it is about 15 gigs out of 100 now the destination drive or the backup drive should be the same or bigger than the used space on your C drive with that said go ahead and close the properties here and this is where I'm backing up volume G 300 gigs is more than enough to store that image file now I have already created a folder here recovery and I'm placing the image inside this folder now go ahead and run Paragon Disk Manager yes to the UAC backup and recovery smart backup next to the wizard and we're going to back up disks or partitions select that and now check mark local disk C and system reserved that's all you need to create that image file go ahead and click next and your destination would be your external hard drive so select local or network drive click next now archive name we're gonna change it to something related to our backup system restore G volume recovery folder next and backup now you can read the summary or you can just click on next this process can take a while to create that image 15 gigs lasted about half hour so you can imagine if you have 50 gigs or 100 it'll take a long time once done go ahead and click on finish and now if we go back to that uh, recovery folder on the external drive we will see that image file even though you see many files the program would only read it as one now say you had a disk failure and you, re you had to replace the disk I'll show you how to recover now this program comes with a boot ISO you need to burn that onto a disk and also change the boot sequence in the BIOS to be able to boot from that disk once you once you boot from that disk you'll see this window here here select normal mode simple restore wizard next to the wizard now go ahead and click on the three dots to browse for that image file now this window here is not reading C drive because C drive is not formatted remember it's a brand new drive but it is reading the external as zero on disk one it will read the hard drive eventually just go ahead and locate your image file in my case it's in system restore here now image zero and image one don't mind that those are images of your partitions click on the system restore here or select it and click on open next next again now this warning is telling us that the image did not originate it from that disk if we continue re-imaging that drive all data will be lost on that drive since is a brand new drive we can go ahead and click on yes now 
this is how your partition will look after and on the top it is how it looks now you see it's reading it go ahead and click next and now it would image your newly installed hard drive with the image file you have created previously now this takes a long time depending on how big is your image file once done go ahead and click close finish eject the CD and restart the computer and you should be fine say your computer is working slow or you got a virus and you want to go back to the date you created that image when it was working fine and virus free is the process is a bit different than what we went through same click on next and browse for that image file but this window here is able to read your C drive and D and external drive the drive letters are changed around because we booted off the disk but is able to read it now go ahead and browse for that image file we created here it is double click next next here now if in your case you click on next you shouldn't get any warnings I got this warning because I'm running a simulation the target disk is not found the image was uh, created from a different hard drive in your case you shouldn't get that error but if you do go ahead and select your C drive notice that the where it says primary here the size is a hundred gigs the 350 megs is a system reserved so make sure to select your C drive here select the destination to restore shows and partition which is your, your C drive I know that this is the C drive because of the size and the little partition here created for the system reserved the top one here is my external drive notice that when you click on it it makes a little bit of an indentation so make sure you select it and click on next now this is a preview uh, summary you can change the uh, partition size I'm just gonna click on next and leave it default now this summary is how it looks now and how it's gonna look after we re-image the uh, hard drive it looks exactly the same so go ahead and click next and once you're done you should be good to go thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you